Hi friends, welcome back to the channel everyone and in today's episode we are going to complete the sign up screen of our user registration system in Android using Kotlin. So let's start and if you remember from the last video or from the last episode we have done this uh, sign up fragment, we built the UI and we displayed this in the, sign in the main activity, this sign up screen was displayed in the main activity, okay. So now we are going to complete this sign up screen okay so it is not just the ui but also we are going to connect this to our code okay so how we are going to do, do that let us see we have four edit text here okay the text input fields and a button to submit okay so before <coughs> So before uh, connecting this, let me tell you that uh, we need to add another text view through which we are going to connect this sign up screen to the sign in screen. Okay, let's suppose that there is a user who is already registered with our app and he wants to go to the sign in screen. So for that, we need a text view on by which the user by clicking on this text view, user can visit the sign in screen okay so first we'll put here a text view as usual set the constraints i'm setting this to 30 okay the left one to 16 and change the text to have an account and change the color to uh, uh, blue select here full follow blue light and yeah it looks cool now and i'm going to change its name to sign in link So now I'm going to create, create some objects here. Okay. So username edit text. It is going to be of the type edit text. By default, we are going to keep all of these null. Okay. So later on, we will uh, later on we will point them towards the elements in our UI. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. So yeah, we are now having four edit text here. Email edit text, password edit text, and last but not the least, password confirm edit text. Okay. And we also need button. Sign up button. Where sign up button? This is going to be of type button again with the default value of null. We are going to set it to the null. Now I am following here the Java method. Basically, uh, there are many other ways to connect the UI to the code in kotlin but i am doing it the java way okay so it will be a lot easier for guys coming from java now all of the ui the basic uh, ui of the fragment is in this view okay so all the elements we have just placed here the button edit text and all are in this view here right here okay so now we are going to use the ids we gave to each of these and access them using the find by id method okay so here we are having id of this button button so by default there are some ids that are the android studio gave them by default now i am going to change these ids and give my own ids so what it will do is that it will make it uh, a lot more easier 
whenever we are using this again in our code i mean this text field should have name a meaningful name so that we don't get confused later on okay so it is a bet best practice to do so even if you are going for any project i recommend you to do this now i am going to give it a more meaningful name and i'm going to change the id of the button as well by default android studio gave it just button but i'm going to change it so after doing that as i told you earlier we are going to use the find view by id method here okay so m view dot find view by id r dot id dot okay so i am going to do somewhat similar for email uh, email email text input field and the password uh, password text input fields okay so we are done with this and now what i'm going to do is get the text from all of these text we are edit text views okay so but before the do, uh, before doing that uh, we also need to do the same for our button as well and also for the text view the text view the one which uh, this is the text view the one which uh, we are going to use as a link to open the signing screen we haven't created a sign screen now but i am preparing the text view for future use okay so now we are done with all the ids and the stuff so uh, what we are going to do is that uh, function now we are going to assign this button a task so whatever uh, so what we are going to basically so basically what we are going to do is whenever the user clicks on the button all these details are submitted okay but before that we need to do something and that is you guessed it right we need to arrange these things properly okay so now we can't put all the code in the ui file basically in this fragment class of the sign up process okay so we are going to create another class one class will be for creating the network requests and stuff and the other one will be for the signing process itself and there will be a separate class for the uh, for the data itself in kotlin we have very good thing called data classes and we are going to use that very well and if you are coming from java you might be knowing this and uh, while we will be doing that stuff you will come to know how helpful are these data classes concept in kotlin okay so now let's do the sign up stuff So it is very easy to set on click listener in the Kotlin. Okay, so now we are going to create a function private fun function sign up. It's going to take some arguments here. So the first one will be obviously 
username which is going to be of type string email which is going to be of type string password which is going to be of type string okay so here we are going to give the name of the function itself sign up so for that we need to give the arguments or pass some arguments in the function the username email and password is basically these i'm going to add another one here confirm password okay i will tell you in a while why we are using these two uh, passwords here or these two the same string why we are passing again and again you will come to know when we will be completing this function uh, this sign up function okay on the first argument i am going to pass the text from username edit text username edit text dot text okay so now that our sign up uh, now we have set up this sign up button here so in this code block we are going to add the all the functionality or or the stuff whatever hap that happens or the stuff whatever happens when the user clicks on this sign up button okay so for that's for another video if you are getting confusion anywhere and you are stuck uh, write down in the comments below or let me know i will surely try to help you